Let's see, what hasn't worked? Well, nine tenths of everything I've ever tried, uh, for starters. Um, you know, it's a tough thing because this field is so experimental that staying away from things that, that don't work is, is not as good advice as it is in some fields. Um, I will say, like, asking people to just join an organization, like I mentioned, uh, tends not to work. Um, Multiple asks and emails is a thing that people often try, and you know I'd be really hard pressed to find an example where that works. The principle behind that, by the way, is just that uh, the 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 factor that gets people to take action usually more than agreement is timing, because we all agree, all of our people agree with all of our issues, and da, 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 da. but it's like, is this thing urgent? And the focus on the one ask is what communicates in both form as well as content that this is the most important thing you can do right now. If you give people five things to do. We often fall into the trap, and unfortunately our bosses often fall into the trap of thinking, well, that's five times more actions because somebody won't like number one, they'll like number two, etc. It just doesn't work that way. We call it the paradox of choice at Move On. Uh, that's a really important thing to look out for, uh, focusing on the one thing you want people to do. Um, what else is a common pitfall? That's good for now. Uh, what do people sort of know about your issue? What sort of, what sort of things do you use? Right. So when you say know about your issue, do you mean like the specific iteration of the thing that's happening now or in a broader sense? Uh, in a broader sense. And you're talking about people who are already uh, on your list or? Just the sort of general public really, it's to try to get them you know, motivated to, to take action on, on your issue. Right. Well, so Marxism, I see on your shirt, most people are aware of that. Uh, it has been tried. It might go in the category things that don't work. I know that's contentious. Uh, give it one more shot. Let me know how it works. Um, you know, that's an interesting thing. Um, from, from the perspective of online organizing, trying to communicate an issue to a broad public that doesn't already know about it. I mean, it's one of the hardest possible things. Um, because the, the fundamental principle of what we do is so much based on, uh, you know, here's, one, here's one thought. Um, there's a whole other category of things that, that will get people's attention uh, that, that's more based on the quality of the content, uh, like just really great videos that are like funny or cool or exciting. Uh, does anyone know the, the term Metrix? Welcome, enter the Metrix. So there's this like really popular you know, flash video that PETA made. Um, you know, PETA does really good work about pushing an issue beyond its usual suspects, and it does it in ways that are often controversial, naked women and you know images of dead animals and like all those sorts of things. But they they push people. So you know. One thought is that you can use the internet as a vehicle to convey very compelling, high-quality content. Uh, that because it's so high-quality, you know, people uh, parodies the Matrix. It's clever. It's good. People want to see it for that, and then they get to the issue, and then they know about it. Um, so that's hard to do. And like everything, you try nine times, you fail. You try your tenth time, you succeed. But I guess if if I was focusing on a strategy for using the internet to communicate to unaffiliated people about an issue they don't already know about, I would focus on content that will strike them because it's funny or interesting or compelling separate from the issue and then bring them into the issue. And I would not suggest that normally when communicating with your own constituency. But for that strategic purpose, I'd say that's a good way to go. Uh, yeah, you said the joint ask doesn't work, and I can understand that. But then you also, um, a few minutes later, you said um, you should have join and ask and move yeah. rhetoric. Um, did you mean it both times? Yes, yes, thank you. No, Great. Just, uh, no, 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 really good. In the context of the splash screens particularly, because mm -hmm. You're asking someone to kind of talk, you know, be part of it. Totally, totally. No, no, that's great. Really good to, to clarify. Okay, so when I say that join ask doesn't work, um, what I generally mean is two things. If you send out an email to your own group and you ask them to join a new group, they, uh, I mean, if you will, most won't. Uh, and the other thing is if you uh, send an email to people asking them to get their friends to join rather than take an action. Um, I've seen that work, I think, once, but mostly it fails. Um, so that has to do with just how compelling that ask is as apart from an action to a group of people who are already sort of with you and what they want is more action. Now, in terms of the splash page, it's an interesting point. What I haven't seen as much of is splash pages that focus on campaign asks rather than join asks. And now that you mention it, and it's a really good thing to think about, um, where those splash pages have been tested mostly is in presidential campaigns, which have so much natural energy flowing into them. It's just a very different context than what most of us do. Um, that the join ask probably works better in that in, in that arena than it does with our issue groups, because uh, it's sort of like everyone and their mother like already wants to you know join. Um, 
But uh, I bet you if those splash pages were, were a little bit more campaign focused, um, they would work better. Oh, another thing to remember too is that those are campaigns, the presidential campaigns. So uh, the connection between join and action is a little bit tighter just inherently because you know it's about to end in a few months and it's just sort of clear what it's all about. For our issue advocacy groups uh, or a long-standing progressive group or whatever, it's not as clear. So it feels like an unending permanent burden to join something. Um, and people, that's what people are, uh, want to stay away from. So that's another reason why probably works better in a campaign context. But I'm really glad you mentioned that because if you do go back and try to implement a splash page, first of all, they're the most testable things in the universe. Um, and uh, I can't believe I didn't talk about testing. Test, 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 test everything. Um, and you should test splash pages. They're so easy. Put up different versions and send half your you know, reference to, to one and the other half to the other. Have them show up you know, at random intervals uh, and see what works. But I bet you're right that if it was a campaign, it would probably work better if it was the right campaign. Thank you. Thank you. This is an honor. Okay. Thank you very much, Ben. It's fantastic. Thank you all. <laughs>